Hello guys, in my previous uh, video we have seen the uncertainty and the cause of uncertainty. Random errors and systematic error. What's the difference between random and systematic error? And also, what are uncertainties in measurement? So today we are going to see the uncertainty analyze or error analyze in a measurement. So what are the rules that we govern when we analyze the uncertainties or the errors in an experiment so as we have seen from our previous lesson systematic errors are simple to analyze because they are due to the limitations of the instruments or the less calibrations of the instruments therefore the systematic errors can be omitted by uh, calibrating the instrument by uh, known standards therefore the systematic errors are simple to analyze but uh, random errors are always present in an uh, in an experiment or in a measurement therefore these are the difficult errors to analyze in a measurement because they always present and the cause of the random errors is different different therefore we have to carefully analyze the errors or the random errors in a measurement therefore according to this uh, random errors or the errors that occur in, an, in a measurement there are rules that we have to govern in an uncertainty analysis the first rule is when we analyze uncertainty in a scale measuring device if you have a scale measuring device we can calculate the uncertainty from this uh, device or scale measuring device for example if you have a graduate cylinder this graduate cylinder have an uncertainty because it is a scale measuring device and it has an error when we measure because when we see the 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 scale of the liquid in this uh, graduate cylinder is about 100 but it's curved therefore we do not know exactly the number of or the value of the experiment or the measurement so we need to calculate the uncertainty in this scale measuring device by calculating the uncertainty as the smallest increment over two therefore we have to know first the increment in this experiment that is the smallest increment in the experiment therefore we, we will divide uh, the increment into two therefore we get the uncertainty of the measurement or the scale measuring device therefore this graduate cylinder is measured in milliliter the smallest increment for this uh, scale measuring device is two therefore this is given by two over two this is equal to one therefore the total measurement of this uh, graduate cylinder is 100 100 plus or minus 1 milliliter milliliter because we have the uncertainty of plus or minus 1 and we have uh, the measurement of 100 100 this is how we can measure or how we can analyze the uncertainty in a scale measuring device and the other thing is that when we analyze the uncertainty in a digital measuring device how we can analyze uncertainty or the error in a digital measuring device measuring device therefore for example if we have uh, a digital balance or this digital balance therefore the uncertainty of this uh, digital balance is given by the smallest increment of this device the smallest increment of this device so the smallest increment for example if i measure a kilogram of uh, 7.5 eight to nine kilogram kilogram therefore the smallest increment for this measuring device is 0 0.001 therefore the uh, sigma x is equals to 0 0.001 therefore uh, totally when we measure uh, a measurement in a single measurement therefore the total measurement value is given by x best plus or minus the uncertainty of the measurement where x best is the best in, uh, estimated result of the measurement and uh, sigma x is the uncertainty of the measurement therefore this should be the final result of the measurement, the measurement. now let us see the significant digits here we have uh, seen the uncertainty in a measurement how we can analyze the uncertainty in a measurement now let us see what are the significant digits so uh, in measurement, the number of meaningful digits implies the error. Therefore, 
we have to uh, carefully report our measurement uh, values or results because this result is implies the level of uh, uh, uncertainty or the level of error in our measurement. Here, for example, if I say that the length of an object is 0 0.428 meter, therefore the uncertainty for this measurement should be 0 0.001. Meter is the uncertainty or sigma x of the measurement. Therefore, this number, this number indicates the uncertainty or the error of the measurement. And significant figures are numbers of digits implies the level of uncertainty. Therefore, this number, this significant digits implies the level, the level of the uncertainty in our measurement. So. This uh, digits or this 0 0.48 meter have three significant digits or if, if we change this to centimeter, it is 42.8 centimeter. Therefore, this, uh, this also have uh, three significant digits. Therefore, this digits uh, gives us uh, a meaning in our experiment. Therefore, the digits that we put in our measurement value or in our measurement results indicate us the sense of the measurement or the the uncertainty of the measurement how our measurement is accurate or how our measurement is precise therefore we need to carefully analyze this result this, this result for example if i say that 42.8 uh, centimeter therefore uh, we have we have uh, some uncertainties after the number 8 to the right therefore we are sure that we are sure that the number four or the result four is certain but the number eight is not known it may be uh, a certain or it may not be certain or it may be uncertain therefore we are not sure about the number eight in the measurement whether it is eight or it is seven or it is nine or something like that therefore uh, this is the, the the number that indicates the uncertainty or the border of the uncertainty but we know that the numbers after 8 to the right are uh, all uncertain, all uncertain. We do not sure, we do not know the numbers after 8 to the right. Therefore, those, are, those numbers are uh, uncertain. Therefore, the level of uncertain indicates from the left to the right. This is the uncertainty in a measurement, the uncertainty in a measurement. So, having saying this, uh, there are different rules that we govern in a significant digit that indicates the number of uncertainty or the level of uncertainty in our measurement. Therefore, the first rule is all non-zero numbers are significant. All non-zero numbers are significant. That means, for example, if I say that 1.25, therefore, this has three significant digits. Significant digits. This is significant and this is significant and also this is significant because these numbers are non-zero numbers. All non-zero numbers are significant. If I say two, five, six, this is or four, this has four significant digits. Significant digits. Therefore, these numbers are uh, non-zero. Therefore, all non-zero are significant. Significant. And the second one is zero are significant. If if they are one within a number. For example, if I say the 1.005, therefore this number has four significant digits. Four significant digits. Because those two zeros are within the number, within the non-zero numbers, therefore those zeros are significant. Two, if the zeros are not needed to hold the decimal point, not needed to hold the decimal point. For example, if I say that 5.00, therefore, those numbers are uh, not needed to hold the decimal point, therefore, they are significant. This, this number has three significant digits. If the zeros are not needed to hold the decimal point, therefore, they are significant. And the other one is, if they are the last digit and are to the right of the decimal point, that is, for example, if I say that, if I say that 7.30, this zero is 
to uh, the last digit and to the right of the decimal point. Therefore, this is significant. And this number, total this number, has three significant digits. Significant digits. And again, if uh, these zeros are following a number, this may be significant or may, may not be significant. Therefore, if I say that 2100, zero, zero, this may have two significant digits or three significant digits or four significant digits. For example, if I say that 2100 zero, zero, as it is, therefore this has two significant digits. Significant digits. Because this, the, the zeros are, uh, the zeros are not significant. Not significant. If I put now, if I put one zero zero point, then these numbers are significant. Then we have four significant digits. Significant digits. And if I say that, if I say that two point one zero times ten to the power of three, three. Therefore, this this is, this has three significant digits. If they are following a number, they may be significant or may not be significant according to uh, the places of the zeros. Now, zeros are not significant if they act as a placeholder. If the zeros act as a placeholder, therefore, they are not significant. For example, if I say that 0 0.0135, therefore, we have only three significant figures or three significant digits. Those numbers are act, act as a placeholder, they are not significant. Not significant. Not significant. Therefore, we have only three significant digits. Significant digits. The zeros are not significant if they act as a placeholder. A placeholder. And now let us see the fourth one. The fourth one is when we multiply it or divide a significant digits. Therefore, the number of significant digits equal to with the number of the, the significant digits in the least accurate of the factors. In the least accurate of the factors. For example, let's say that let's say that 45 divided by 3.22 times times 2.0000 Therefore, this is given by, this is equals to 6.9015. Now, we are dividing 45 to 33.2 times 2.005. At the end of our calculation, the significant digits of the result should be uh, uh, equal with the significant digits in the list accurate of the factors. Therefore, for this one, we have two significant digits, significant digits, and for this one, we have three significant digits, and for this one, we have uh, four significant digits. Therefore, our final result should be equal with the two significant digits, not with three or not with four. Therefore, this should have three significant digits. So, this has to be two significant digits. Therefore, this is equal to 7.0. This is two significant digits. We are having two significant digits. Now, because 7 is greater than 5, therefore, we will add 1 to the preceding number, and then uh, we, we approximate our final result as two significant digits. So, uh, if the digit is smaller than 5, that we are going to approximate, then drop the digit and leave the remaining number as unchanged. And if the digit is 5 or larger, then drop the digit and add 1 to the preceding digit, then we approximate the uncertainty of the measurement. Therefore, in our previous calculation, we, ha we have uh, uh, get the 6.97015, then if we approximate this number, therefore we get 7.0. Seven point zero with two significant digits. The fifth 
rule of our calculation or our significant digits it is when we add or subtract a number or when we add or subtract a measurement therefore when we add or subtract a measurement the number of significant digits is equal with equal with the number of decimal places of any terms in the sum or difference for example if i take that 4.231 plus 2.1442 then we add or actually you can say that 42 or let's say that this is 4 now if I say this one therefore this is given by uh, speakers point uh, 3 and then 7 then 1 1 so the list the least uh, the smallest number of the decimal place is this one this one therefore uh, we have here four significant digits and here we have three significant digits therefore the smallest significant digit in this calculation is 2.14 with three significant digits therefore our calculation should have three significant digits that means this is equals to 6.37 Sinus 1 is less than 5, therefore we can, we can leave it as it is. So we write our final result as uh, 6.37. Now another calculation, let's see that another calculation is uh, 420 point, point uh, plus, plus uh, if we say that 2, this is 2, uh, 2.4. Point, uh, 413 four, therefore you can say that for this calculation 422.413 therefore this is the final result but uh, when we act as uh, a significant uh, digits rule or the rule of the significant digits therefore our final answer for this calculation is 422 only because this 4 is less than 5 therefore we leave as it is then the final result for our measurement is 4 to 2 uh, what will happen if uh, uh, our number is for example 500 plus uh, 1.352 now when we add those numbers when we add those numbers we give this is 500 therefore we get 501.352 therefore in the first number, in the first number, we have one significant digit, and this we have four significant digits. Our final result should have one significant digit. Therefore, our final result or our approximate result should be 500. 500. This is the result of our calculation after applying the rules of significant digits. Digits.